Hello and welcome to another Let's Play Me Game of Six of Witch 3 The Wild Hunt. Unless uh, let's play finished the um Geralt had to face Bird and the Wobbler and the Wobbler in the Night and the Night and the Tourney. The one where uh it had uh, what's his name wanting to uh, figure out what the heck's going on with that one lady and she was turned into a boy or going to be turned into a boy but also partially bird and he was totally into her brain the bird but she wasn't so he took on her fetish that sort of thing yeah anyways time to get my monies greetings business is booming for as I can see better believe it Every man and his hound wants to fight in the cursed arena. My cut of the proceeds must have grown sizable. And how? Here. Always a pleasure doing business in Skellige. Cool. Come again, eh? Great things are bound to happen here. Mark my words. I hope they do. Good luck. Did you sing seen different cultures and all that stuff? These guys in their stone houses with muds and whatnot. Uh, the uh, more medieval medieval places. Oh, is this the one about the guy who stole somebody's balls? I think it is. Well, it's artwork. It's fine. Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic. So Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. <sighs> to plans of his own. Let's drink more tea or coffee, I don't know. Hunter, Chief, the Butcher of Bluffigan called to be the uh. savior. Yep. Disperse! The exit! Please disperse! The exhibition is closed. What's this about? Oh, Lapiota, give me strength. I can't bear this, please. I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. Oh, wait. Are you not that famous witcher, Geralt of Rivia? I believe I have work for you. Saw your notice. Mentioned a monument. The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? The statue. Just tell me, what's the problem? A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. Here it is, our pride and joy, Reginald Daubry, a giant among lovers, a poking, puncturing swordsman, and atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. <laughs> Somebody stole the testicles. Of a statue. No ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. <laughs> like to size or what? Stones, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. All who buy a ticket, that is. Thus, you must retrieve those stones. Got my attention. Now tell me about this Reginald, all you know. There's so much to tell. Legend has it he and the architect Faramont planned and laid out Beauclair. Hmm. Impressed already. In particular, Reginald took great pains to devise escape routes for lovers caught with their pants down. Literally and metaphorically. He later made frequent use of them himself. Not out of fear, mind you, but to avoid having to kill his rifles in duels. Got any suspects? 
Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. Who would not want it for himself? Any idea I like that, that took place? I'm not sure if it's intentional it or not, but the um, ago, nice detail that... I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. Stones were very much in place. Where the bronze seems to be more polished and... Uh, look around. Might find a clue or two. Like have a bit of the Do rust the removed in as the general to less scary. stones. Without them, Beauclair's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. It must. Yep, they're Some gone. Marks are straight and clean. Precision castration, I'd call this. Dried blood stain. Don't worry, Rachel. Don't worry. You shall be whole again soon. It will all work out. It must. Where are you returning off to, Cynthia? Don't worry, Reginald. Don't worry. You shall be whole again soon. It will all work out. It must. Oh, there we go. Piece of coat fabric caught on the nail. Heavy on cologne. Smell it'll lead me to the thief. Where are you skittering off to, Silverman? Oh, is my head ever spinning after last night? Ah. Uh. Women love tears. Men prefer wine. Slithering snake by the lake. This person went through hither and thither. Phew! Stinky! Wine. Sunlight captured in the scent bed. leads to this door. <laughs> yeah. I need a sense of Sorry that. to interrupt, I guess. Uh, this, this is not what it seems. <laughs> Word of honor. I, I, I tripped, rolled, tumbled, and landed where she already lay. Psst! Hughes! That's not him! I, I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence. A series thereof. What? That's not my husband. You mean, not, not your husband? Who are you, and why are you in my home? Out now, or I'll summon the guards. So wait, is this your house or is this her house? Yeah. Watch your tone, Gramps. Just here to talk. I... I believe we have nothing to talk about. Oh, we do. We do. Just to kick things off, you're in great form for a man your age. <clears throat> I eat well, start the day with a glass of wine. That preserves a body wonderfully. Interesting. Might try it. Say, ever heard of Reginald Dobry, his statue? Everyone in the city's heard of it. Reginald's a paragon, a national hero. That's so. You seem well informed, Hughes. Maybe you know who stole Reginald's testicles. I... Uh, I can explain everything. Uh, this... Rosalinda! I know you're in there! You had that fancy pants of yours! Oh no, not him too. This really is not my day. Got you, you rogue! Prepare for a shellacking skeleton! What the love's this? Rosalinta! One, I could forgive you, but two at one time! Wait, got nothing to do with this. <sighs> Take me for a fool! I'll teach you to fish in another man's pond! Okay. Go home. 
got no time for this. Go home. Yes. That'll be best. I... I'm done here. I don't know you, but that would have gone horribly for me had you not intervened. I thank you for saving my skin. Mm-hmm. So, time to talk. <sighs> Rosalinda, my dove, please allow us a moment. All right. I admit I stole the stones. And you will never believe it, but they work. Today, Rosalinda and I will three times and counting. Three times? Impressive. Isn't it? At my age. That's more than the entire last decade. All the same, you yeah. stole those stones and you gotta return them. Yeah, I'm gonna. Just Perhaps get them we might strike a deal. Hmm? Let me keep the stones. I'll pay you. Grant me this, I beg you. They, they've made me young again. Yeah, lend. Perhaps I, I could lend them to you for one more day. What would you say to that? A day is three more rumps at the least. You for deal, sir. Because while I. It's something, something older generations. Now let him have his thing. Jesus. Why not that right quick? So. An auction, you say? But, um, but, um, who was again at? Let's see, horny grandpa, uncle grandpa, um, what about uncle grandpa? Rolling on an empty stomach, oh, dreadful. For four generations. That is how long my family has been producing wine. Producing Plonk unfit to drink, you mean? Which is exactly why you should sell Belgat to me, not him. <clears throat> As a ducal clerk, I must look after the duchy's best interests. Belgard currently belongs to the treasury. The minister of the treasury has clearly expressed his desire that Belgard be handed over to a responsible steward. Yet, diverse troubles beset both your present holdings. Until you resolve them and thus prove yourselves competent, selling Belgard to either of you is out of the question. Well, Happy, this is your fault. Mine? You're deranged, woman. Hark, good folk. Be it known, Batilda de Vermentino is a cursed, spiteful lunatic. Doesn't look cursed to me. Just really, really angry. Ticked her off quite a bit, you have. Truly? How would you know? A shrew tamer, are you? You know all about women, actually. Better. A connoisseur. <laughs> I see we speak the same tongue. So tell me, the swords, you merely wear them to intimidate? Or do you actually use them? Tools of my trade. I'm a witcher. Not... Seeking work, are you? Y you see, I wish to buy a vineyard. Belgard. Yet that bloody bureaucrat's not likely to sell it to me until I settle my troubles at home, at Coronata. What kind of troubles we talking about? Ah, uh, it's botched in more ways than one. The herbarium, infested with monsters. My steward, gone missing, with an entire transport of wine. Uh, and someone's abducted my herbalist. A lot of bad luck for one little vineyard. If you ask me, it's that Matilda, her handiwork. A sugar sweet face, a temper sharp as horseradish. So will you help? Don't work for free. 
Could look into it. I mean, these guys are going to make money from me, so make money from them. What is your rate? That sounds fair. Sure sounds like work for a witcher. Yeah, I'll help. I am really, truly Everyone grateful. just has bloodshot eyes. That just Thank makes you. me feel uncomfortable. My vineyard lies east of here. You're sure to find it. Now forgive me. I must talk to that quill pusher. I might win He pushes quills. Yet. It's very expensive, but... How'd you get down there anyways? This is the only exit to this area. Did you jump over? She jumped over well in a dress. Psst. You're a witcher, yes? I heard you talking to that oafish ogre Liam. Disgusting man. The worst sort. First, seduces with the dashing gaze. The fair face. Then reveals a coal black heart. Get her horny for each other. The point. I stopped Spoiler alert. because I want to buy Belgat too. Alas, things are rotten at my own vineyard, Vermentino. Hmm. Strange coincidence. No coincidence. I am certain Liam's thrown a stick in my box. Several sticks. My Cooper and Blacksmith both have mysteriously vanished. Man Cooper? plants have sprouted on my paths. And strange things are afoot on Pheasant Hill. Ah, the list goes on, but the crux is one. I must solve my problems at Vermentino if I'm to stand any chance of acquiring Belgart. Would you help me before you help Leon? I'm willing to pay more than he's offered you. It was about what, 1,000? Fine, settled. It was like one thousand and a half way, give I or can take. Help. Please try. Wonderful. You've no idea how much that means to me. My vineyard lies due west. Good, it'll help me uh, burn some time while waiting for Uncle Grandpa to uh, rub some stones into a woman. Liam does not pull some stunt while my back is tight. Makes sense. Gotcha. Farewell. All is in order. Okay. So it's two separate quests that are part of the same quest. In a way. Be nice to live here, minus the uh, man-eating plants and all that stuff. And the brigands. Vampire seems to be alright. Even though that's literally the crux of this uh, DLC. Yes, in case. Come on. Uh, I can't swing. I always love doing that shit. Anyways.
I have a key. A key. Door. Okay. But does that also have a key? Are we talking about sex or are we talking about a horse? God, right now I'm just thinking of my teenage years. Never just yeah. What's going on there? Dunno. Yeah, what was it again? Wine wars. 21. So just look at the map. Wait, what? No. Okay, that one's closer. Diddly snips. My back aches something horrid. Diddly doos. Yeah, I have to go up hers. Go hers. What? Did I really start this let's by looking for somebody's balls or was that part way through? Also, what is the thing I have my on my horse? Oh, God. No, don't flip and care about dismemberment. There we go. Oh, and, uh... 90 stamina versus 90 stamina. Yeah, uh, crap. The trees. And eating plants. And eating plants. And I believe this thing's a specter, apparently. Yeah, shite. Okay. Okay, uh, I need to get myself some more swallow. I'm not horny, you're horny. Yeah, that was a waste. Wow, I was almost dead there. Good thing I got that one thing that gives me, like, another life through adrenaline. Apparently someone's sabotaging operations at Fermentino, but the letter doesn't say who. Hmm. 
Need to keep looking. Could still find out. Yeah, we'll just go the nearest one. Let's go. Thinking of wine wars, I'm thinking of like stupid fucking things like storage wars or you know history channel just stupid things that and also what were, what were the other ones like something about Amish wars or the Amish mafia and it's like okay two things one I while I do feel like there's an underworld to pretty much everything I'm not sure about an Amish mafia one and two like in these things you would see people smashing up other people's property it's like okay Here's the thing. You only... The only time you can ever, like, have somebody smashing up someone else's property on television and getting away from it legally is, I don't know, the police being able to do that. Okay. Oops, uh, T. I'm gonna have to meditate to get my stuff back. So I'm just gonna meditate until people just randomly show up or something? Seems interesting. Wait, uh, just, people just all of a sudden came back and started farming? I was napping? Hell. Good work, Geralt. With the Dachi saved, you can take uh, some time off. Whoa. Yeah, hold the phone. Need to examine the bodies. Sorry. Oh, that hurts. Right. Go, go. Sabotage. Good thing this horse is just invincible in the leg department. Hmm, wild horses. Yeah. Uh, hey, Geralt.
Yeah, at least I'm high enough level I can deal with these things, more or less. Hmm. Oh yeah, you were just kind of sitting there for a while. We just uh, showed building around you. Oof, that's all right. Mm-hmm. I always love video game stuff where it's like you do some things and then there's like a rapid growth period of like people coming back and or breeding or whatever. In a manageable way. Nope. So that's going to be the end of this. Let's place a comment. Because I like them comments. Tell me what you like, dislike, tips, tricks. Otherwise, if you like my YouTube and would like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out the videos to help you grow. And please remember to spay and neuter woo you animals to help control the pit population. And until next time, I'll say, me, you move, six of which through the wild hunt. See ya.